And you'll notice that when you see them because you were in consistency, you notice there's a laser focus on you. Again, intense getting people to open up emotionally is not about getting them to talk. It's literally about seeing the emotions in their face and in their actions. Competition. Um, I show videos about this, how guys who play basketball, um, um, and there's nobody waiting to get next, meaning like if I lose, somebody's going to take my place. When there's nobody waiting to get next, what you notice is that guys play with less intensity. Guys are less competition. There's less energy. There's less emotion. And also there's less reaction to losing. As soon as somebody walks in and says, hey man, I got next, you'll notice all of a sudden everyone looks and like, ah, we're clamping up. All of a sudden people start playing harder. People start arguing more. People start fighting. Like, <clears throat> The game intensifies when there's competition. And that's because in, in the sexual market value place, you call that being in a sexually competitive state where if other people see, if you see other people wanting what you want, you get emotional, you get possessive, you get jealous, and you start to self-reflect that maybe I got to try a little harder. You start to get jealous. Your ego gets involved and naturally it just makes you more emotional. If you lose, you feel that low sense of self-esteem. And what happens is that these spikes in emotions leak in your nonverbal cues. These spikes in emotions leak in the way you text, in the way you talk. You talk more, you respond faster, you put more words, you put more words into your words and actions. And all of these things intensify the experience of being with you. And what you'll notice is that when you do these these things people just get more emotional and they open up and a lot of times people will even like if they genuinely like you this will increase a gen their the the gen the 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 realness behind how they feel about you in other words if they like you like you for real you apply these strategies they will like you more now if you apply these strategies and they like you superficially yeah they're gonna like you more but it's not really gonna affect the long term um the long term um uh, what do you call it the long term future with them this is just a temporary spike in emotion but it works really well when people really like you um and like i said this has been done to everyone i if you really think about it these are the things that get you emotional and honestly if you do this to someone and they don't get emotional they don't like you that's what that means. It's not the Father Island that doesn't know what he's talking about. It just means I don't like you and you have to accept that. Okay? Anyways, take care. So these are some of the things that you guys can do, right? One, walking away. Walking away is literally the number one thing that creates this type of emotion. You need somebody else to from another point of view, okay? So if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a 30, 40, 50, um, 10 minute call with me by clicking in the description down below. I'll be available this week and, I, and it will be me. It won't be an AI. It won't be my assistant like some people do. It will be straight from Father Alex. Okay. You can even do a video call to just confirm. Okay. Let's continue with the video. Why? Because wa walking away a lot of the times when they like you is unexpected and it creates a certain sense of heartbreak and that heartbreak makes people gravitate towards you you become a threat you threaten their self-esteem you walking away lowers their self-esteem and so naturally the brain will see you as a threat their amygdala the, the reticular activating system will start to zero in on you like a missile that zero in on a target and it'll cause them to all of a sudden just start chasing more. Like if you walk away from someone who you think is cold, you might be surprised that all of a sudden you start to see them become more emotional at the thought of you walking away. It, it, it's always like that, people. I don't know what to tell you guys, right? Um, the next thing that does it is, is hints of coldness, little hints of coldness, not coldness like, like a freaking Terminator, right? But that when they look at your face, they can sense that you're willing to walk away. Your behavior, your demeanor, the way you behave, they can sense that there's a part of you that is willing to suffer if you disrespect them. There's a part of you that is willing to leave someone they really love if they get disrespected. And it's not that they don't feel warmth from you, but they also equally sense that there's another side to you. How do you do that? Well, first of all, one, you tell people stories of you walking away, right, literally. Two, when people do fuck up, you tell them they fucked up, you have boundaries, you let them know, and you let them know that if they do that again, you will leave. Those things create an aura of coldness. Like literally, just doing that creates an aura of coldness, right? And, uh, and above all, that you just mentally prepare yourself not to forgive everything. And the way you do that is you just focus on this. Give people one chance. There are mistakes that people make that they deserve one more shot. Maybe they were cold, maybe they were distant, maybe they don't give you what you want right? And you leave. 
They come back begging emotionally. And then you give them one more shot from that moment on, from that moment on, I can promise you, there is a certain level of coldness they're going to sense from your warmth. And that will come across as confident. You could be as needy as fuck as you want. As long as they sense that coldness, there's strength behind that, be behind the warmth, right? Now, the next thing that you guys have to do is creating impatience. Impatience is another way to get people to become emotional, right? Um, people could be calm and, 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 and collected around you, right? As soon as you make them wait, you notice emotions start to arise, uncontrollable emotions, especially if they are, um, this happens to guys more often, especially if they're thrill seekers, um, especially if they like to control a lot. Impatience is one of those, those emotions that they usually try to run away from. So then one of the ways you do that is like, like I said, first of all, in the beginning, you're just not available all the time. You have a certain level of unavailability, right? Um, in, in, that's why I tell you every week you add one more day they can see you. In other words, first week, once a week, second week, second week, once or twice a week, third week, once or three times a week, fourth week, three or four times a week. You increase it over time, right? And that gradual progression will always create a sense of wanting to see you, right? Um, and also if they if they cancel dates, for example. I always tell people, if you're meeting people and they cancel, don't let, don't let them see you next, the next day or, or the, in a few days, let them see you in two weeks, right? Let them wait when they cancel, let them wait when you're noticing that they're not putting effort that will reveal to you whether or not what they're doing is a game, whether or not what they're doing is a strategy, because if they're applying a strategy, one of the things that people who are applying strategies don't have is patience, right? Because a lot of the times they're applying these strategies with their fingers, holding, holding onto their fingers, hopefully, hopefully that it works. All right, guys, we're going to have a brief intermission so that I could tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting Robert Greene's book. You, all of this is naturally at around 238, 200, no, naturally is at $346, but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at, what, what's the price again? Uh, get it at um, two, 238 pretty much. Um, so you guys can purchase it right now. Um, it's a money, money back, 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when i when you get too much information but i've gotten too many requests to do this so i'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle all right let's continue with the video